Lift off of the Falcon 9 and Crew Dragon. The launches of SpaceX Dragon spacecraft will soon be supported by a new safety system, slides. Around mid-morning on February 26th, SpaceX tested the deployment of a new innovative escape system from the Crew Access Tower at Pad 40 over at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. The system is unlike anything seen before at a launch pad. It's designed for astronauts and launch support crew to have a quick escape in an emergency. During a recent post-flight readiness review leading up to the Crew-8 astronaut launch on March 1st, SpaceX's Bill Gerstenmaier alluded to the new slides, saying SpaceX was nearing the end game of certifying Pad 40 to support Dragon missions. We would like to do a cargo flight first if we can, and we think CRS-30 is probably the right time to do that, and the work's pretty much complete at the pad. We've got some stuff to do next week, but we'll be in we'll be in good shape for, for CRS-30. CRS-30 stands for Commercial Resupply Services 30. It's the 30th mission that SpaceX will use to send cargo and science supplies up to the International Space Station. That mission is currently scheduled to launch in mid-March, though no specific date has been announced publicly yet. Joe Montalbano, NASA's ISS program manager, says the space station is having a big year for visiting spacecraft. Now we have 17 ISS missions this year, it's calendar year. Um, so it is like the coolest game of Tetris to try and manage all this. And then you add in you know, the, the non-ISS missions and, and try and manage across the, the different launch pad availability. And this off, go Falcon, go Dragon, go Crew 7. Currently, NASA and SpaceX are only able to launch Dragon flights from Launch Complex 39A. Steve Stitch, the manager of NASA's commercial crew program, said they did test some systems of Pad 40's crew tower during the recent NG-20 launch. That mission saw Northrop Grumman's Cygnus spacecraft launch atop a Falcon 9 to fly to the ISS. A lot of the crew systems that are required at the pad, specifically for Dragon, uh, were not tested with, uh, with Northrop Grumman 20 flight. And then we're targeting to have it online by, um, by Crew 9 uh, later this year for crew capability. And it's good to have that redundancy. And something could always happen to the systems at uh, 39A. And so we're really happy to have that backup pad. Returning to the new slide system, it's different from the emergency escape system at other pads. Over at Launch Complex 39A, SpaceX uses a slide wire basket system similar to what was used during the space shuttle days. That system is also close to what NASA is using over at Launch Complex 39B to support future crewed Artemis missions and what United Launch Alliance will use for future launches of Boeing's Starliner spacecraft. But that's not the only means of escape for the crew. Once the astronauts are strapped into their Dragon capsule in the crew armor tracks, SpaceX arms the abort system within the spacecraft. Launch. In 2015, SpaceX demonstrated an uncrewed pad abort test from Space Launch Complex 40. This was the first and so far only time a second generation Dragon spacecraft lifted off from this pad. Lift off, for five, aim high. That was followed five years later by an in-flight abort test launching from Pad 39A using a Falcon 9 rocket. Both missions demonstrated the capability of the Super Draco abort system to safely and quickly pull astronauts away from the rocket if needed. The new slide system adds another layer of safety capability at the pad. The slides are stored inside these white boxes and offer a path away from the rocket if, for instance, a toxic leak were detected or another malfunction was discovered while loading crew or cargo. The deployment test is part of SpaceX's final work to certify the crew access tower as Florida's Space Coast prepares to welcome a third human-rated launch pad to the rotation. Reporting from the Kennedy Space Center, for Space Flight Now, I'm Will Robinson-Smith.